Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Field Trips. I find myself in Grand Rapids, Michigan on the beautiful Thorn Apple River with a couple new friends. We got Luis and Sammy, but they floated this river quite a bit. We're doing a float. We just dropped his vehicle down at the bottom. It's beautiful, it's shallow, it's rocky. This is my comfort zone when it comes to kayak fishing places I don't know. This is my kind of river. There's sand, there's a ton of smallmouth in here. So I think we're gonna have fun today. We may keep some fish. We're just gonna kind of play it by ear. We had to wait out a storm. Storm came as soon as we got to the launch, of course. We sat in our vehicles for like an hour, but it's passed. We're hoping it'll hold off, and we're hoping it's gonna have these fish fired up. We will see. We're gonna start off. You wanna go to the dam? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna start off. We're gonna go upriver just a ways. Right over here, there's a dam. Nice little dam, deep water there. It's summertime. The water's warmer than usual. So we're thinking there may be some fish hold up in this dam. So we're gonna start up there and then head down and just see what we get into. I don't know. We're gonna have to portage over another dam. Yep. We're in for a little adventure today, guys. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna get on some fish. It feels fishy like in the air. So we'll see what happens. Y'all ready to do it? Yeah. Let's get on the water. Let's do it. Nice. First fish on. Oh, it's decent too. Oh yeah, great fish. Nice. Well, look at that. First fish of the day. I mean, maybe five casts into the day. Just got started. Basically got all this turbulent water coming down. It's oxygen rich and smallies love current. They love hunting near current. And basically down here where it slowed down just a hair, I'm throwing across and just bringing it across the current. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth, like for first fish of the day, probably 17 inches. Let's have a quick pick and mark him in the angler app. And there we go. And there she goes. Well, I think that warrants staying here and hanging out for at least a few more minutes before we really start making our way down. Just on a simple chatterbait, black and blue. When you got turbulent, crazy water, that's just that should be kind of a, a go-to. And man, he, he thumped it hard and broke my paddle tail. I'll have to replace that, but promising start. I think it's going to be a fun day. Oh, I just got hammered by something the second it landed and broke me off on the hook set. Holy, whoo, like right there in that pocket. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just got smoked by something and it ran off with my chatterbait and I'm really worried that was my last one that I got with me. Thumped it real hard. I set the hook and it just broke off immediately or maybe bit off. Could be a pike or maybe a muskie sitting in that hole and the second it landed, it's a clean, clean break. Damn. Well, we were worried this post front bite might not be good, but they're chewing clearly. That was maybe four or five casts after that, that first smallie. Phew. So Luis just spotted a raccoon with a bottle stuck on its head somehow. He's gonna see if he can't get out and help it, which sketch factor 11. Oh man, this is about to get real entertaining. Oh, I see him. Here's this raccoon that they were just trying to save. He got away from him, got up on the bridge. He's got some kind of cup or bottle or something on his head. You would think with his thumbs he could get it off. Remember guys, when you don't take the time to pick up your trash, this is what happens. Wildlife suffers. It's not a joke. Pick up after yourself. That's, I just hate seeing that. This guy will starve to death if he can't figure out how to get that off. We tried to grab him. Luis and Sammy tried to grab him, but he was able to evade him. Now we can't get to him. Poor guy, man. Whether or not they're pests, like I hate to see that. Yeah, he doesn't deserve that. Your bag. So I told him I was, he was an idiot for trying. But Luis just went up there and snagged that cup off the raccoon on the side of the bridge. That's crazy, dude. Over here. Oh my gosh. Come on, people. Pick up after yourselves. Yeah. No, we're all represent Michigan. Man. I can't believe it. Luis said that raccoon, he was on the edge of the bridge, and Luis just reached up 
and just snagged it off his face real quick before the raccoon knew what was happening. But he said, what'd you say? There's still like a ring around his neck? Yeah, the top of the cup. Man. <sighs> well, at least now he can eat and, and breathe okay. Hopefully with time, he'll be able to work that the rest of it off of him. But man, kudos to you for going up there. I thought you were just a fool's errand trying to catch that thing. I didn't think about the old sneak attack. Got a soft spot for animals, man, even if they are nuisance. Yeah, no animal deserves to suffer like that, slowly starve to death. Well, hey, good deed, good karma. Hopefully the, hopefully the fish gods will reward us. Sammy just nabbed her first fish of the day. <laughs> nice work. Gotta let go. Bite your thumb, <laughs> look at that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this all looks killer right here. All right guys, action's heating up. I literally can't get a cast in because these two over here are just hooking up every 20 seconds. The fish are playing today. What's that, large or small? Small mouth. Small mouth. Nice. I, I flicked it up to the surface and as soon as it broke the surface, you're on two. Oh! Yeah. Nice, Luis with another one right here as I'm talking to him. Nice little smallie. Beauty. Sammy with another one. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, so when I'm fishing a river, I'm looking for one of two things. One is gonna be any kind of current break. So a boulder, a dock, a lay down, just junk in the river. Anything that breaks up that current is gonna give a smallie a good opportunity to hang out behind that, get off the treadmill that is the river, and they'll typically do that, be facing upstream, and be like right on the current edge. Because they're looking for that current to bring food down. It's like a little buffet conveyor belt. And that way they don't have to work too hard, but still brings food to them. Beyond that, sometimes under certain conditions, and I think these are the kind of dish conditions you're looking for, stormy, cloudy, windy, the bass will feel safe, visibility goes down, and they'll cruise a little bit more and hunt for bigger forage out in the main current. And my first smallie of the day came out right in the middle of the current, so I know that at least some of them are doing that. So I'm basically gonna be casting at current breaks as I see them near the bank. And then anytime I don't see a good current break nearby to cast to, I'll just cast basically across the river in these swift sections. And I'm gonna bring this chatterbait in this case, right across. And uh, I think between those two kind of strategies, you can essentially find fish in any river in the country, whether it's large mouth or small mouth. All right guys, so this is one of those do as I say, not as I do type of moments. The, the rain is moving in, the thunder is relentless right now. I haven't seen any strikes, but Pro tip, don't go kayak fishing in a thunderstorm. But we're pretty much committed now. We couldn't get back up if we wanted, so. At least we're all in it together. <laughs> you know how to do mouth to mouth, right, Luis? Absolutely. Good. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. I'll put this on, then I'll probably stop immediately. Yeah. That, Sammy, see what you get. See if you can catch some nice weather. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's coming down now. Lovely day for a paddle, a little river float. Day for a shower? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take a shower last night anyway. Yeah, I kind of needed a shower. Yeah. Oh, this tree's working great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Stay, hey, 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 watch your face. Fish are flying out here. Man, sitting here hiding from the rain, still getting fish. They're chewing right now. Oh. Monster. I thought you were messing with me. That's a soft fish bust over there on the bank. Luis got another one right here while we're just waiting out the rain. He's made like four casts and caught two fish now. All right, guys, well, we are thoroughly soaked now. It's not letting up. The radar, it looks clear behind this system, but every time we check it, there's like more system blossoming up on Lake Michigan right here to the west of us. So we don't know if it's gonna stop or not. 
The fish are chewing though, we're already soaked. It's gonna be hard to film in this, but we're gonna keep making our way down. The fish are already wet and so are we. So no point dilly daddling now. Let's just get after it. I got one too. Nice. There we go. Sammy hooked up, I turned around and I felt my Senko start moving without my permission. First large mouth of the day for Rob here. Guy choked it because I wasn't paying attention. Just inhaled it. Hey, give me my Senko back. How about a little fish? Ding him in the angler app. On the Senko. So we got slower water here. That's where these largemouth are gonna tend to hang out. I like throwing the Senko when it slows down a little bit, that current. Got it done. See ya, buddy. Thanks for playing. I was literally looking at her and just all of a sudden my rod started to say, yeah, you got a good one? All right, all right, hang on to it. I'm coming, I'm coming. And look at this. I got that little largey on the <laughs> Senko. Sammy was over here getting a respectable largemouth. Look at this girl. On the paddle tail. <laughs> They're liking that. Yeah, she definitely wasn't one coming off. There you go. Look at that. You say you think that's your PB? <laughs> yeah, this is my PB for <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It was worth the uh, braving the rain out here. Look yeah, at that. Most definitely. Look at you. I heard it splashing around back there, but I was fighting my own. But mine was not nearly that big. Great fish. Yeah, on that white swim bait. It's been getting it done for you guys today. Congrats, new PB. Yeah, she's got sharp teeth too. Oh yeah. Good? Con congrats. There she goes. There she goes. Nice work, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you could say to convince me that there's not like seven bass on this log right here. This is juicy. Extensive lay down. Definitely hit this. Run that swim bait through there. Gotta be multiple fish in there. Yep, yep, what I say? Oh, good one, good one. Stay down, stay down. No, no. Stay down, stay down, stay down. I was just saying, there's gotta be multiple fish on this lay down. Second flick in there with the Senko, and there she is. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you do it, don't you do it, don't you do it. Nice! Look at that! Following up Sammy's. I think hers was bigger, but two nice large mouth a minute apart. We literally just released hers and I was like, oh look at this laydown coming up. There we go. That's a good fish right there. Ding her in the angler app. Man, came out here looking for smallies, but I'll take that all day. I just saw like the faintest like tick in my line on the surface. Didn't feel anything, nothing. That's the big girls usually are the more subtle bites. Well, it was worth suffering through the rain. Big girls are out to play. See you girl, thank you. Big old crappie, man. Crappie on the on the wacky Senko. Bro, it's like Look at this thing. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Spoiler alert, the rain has not quit, but I just was bringing the Senko back to this to the boat and I paused it, I stopped it cuz I've I've watched countless fish follow the Senko which makes no sense because when you're reeling it in, it, it just, it wobble, it's weird looking. I don't know what they think it is, but I've learned that it's worth pausing the Senko right when you kind of get it back to the boat, just in case something's following it. And sure enough, I watched this big, really nice crappie come up and smack it. I'm wondering if I should make this guy dinner. No! Did you hear that? No, I saw it. <laughs> oh, I was.
was like, they're not gonna hit this white frog. I gotta switch colors. I gotta switch colors. But I was at, I was fishing freaking backwards, weird angle, and my hook set was like a paraplegic. God, <laughs> dog it. And it freaking. Oh my gosh. Insult to injury, dude. I, I thought I had her. I thought I had her. If I had been facing the right way, I think I would have had her. I just I waited. You gotta wait with these frog hits. Oh, yeah. I waited. It was gone. I felt the weight. I set the hook and just nothing. <laughs> and like add insult to injury. How does this even happen? Like what? Freaking witchcraft. Like how's it? <laughs> Oh, oh no. No. Ah, uh, this little guy. How? <gasps> no. Dude, they hit the frog though. Another one. Just running right on the edge of this grass. Maybe she'll hit it again. Got him, got him. Not this time, buddy, not this time. Uh, not as big as the other blowups, but hey, just to prove to myself I can do it. God, and she choked it. <sighs> Little Spro Frog, super simple presentation. Not the big girl I was hoping for. And I feel like not the big girl that hit it earlier and laughed in my face, but man, feels good. I think that's blow up number four on the frog and first fish. These things were down there laughing at me. Got a little redemption, but hey, anytime they'll hit the frog, I mean, it's about as fun a fishing as you can, you can do for bass. I'm just steady hopping this thing along the grass and then I'll pause in some of these openings. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, there's not too much better than when the fish are willing to hit the frog. And looking at this place, like, if you come to an area like this, bass fishing, and the frog is not the first thing that comes to your mind, you just not paying attention. Little spro frog, not a giant, but when they explode on it like that, it's just so rad. Oh my gosh, we got a ton of this grass coming up. I think we're about to have some fun. Again, we got froggy conditions outside. Anytime you got overcast or rain or just after the rain, that's when frogs come out. I mean, that's just very natural. These fish are not dumb, they know this. And so when they see one, hopping by they're gonna hit it <laughs> that's so much fun and now i've landed two in a row with the frog anytime you get a blow up on a frog you need to really count like three mississippi if you can but you gotta let them take it down and wait until it starts loading up your rod some weight to it my first few uh, i was just setting the hook too early but gosh i know we're about to pull out a couple more on the top water frog <laughs> that is so fun <laughs> Steady bouncing the rod tip. I'm basically, my hands are doing what I do when I'm fishing a fluke or a spook even. Just bouncing it along, hopping it along. And if you let a little slack in your line, these spro frogs will actually kind of walk the dog a little bit, twitching back and forth. Really, really sexy presentation, but this is all it's doing. And I'm getting all my hits when it's doing this, just, just be bopping through. And typically you come to a little break in the grass like that. And that's where they've been waiting. They hear it coming, they're ready for it. 
and man, is that a good time. I was thinking maybe this would be how I could weed through these smaller fish that are hitting the Senko and get some big ones, but really even the small ones are attacking this thing. At least up in all this grass. And gosh, I gotta keep reminding myself, like, I mean, I could sit here all day in this one little stretch throwing this frog, but we've still got a lot of river to cover. I don't think we're even halfway there. <laughs> So I'm just going to make some good casts and try to keep moving down or we're going to be out here till midnight at this rate. Just having a blast with these fish. Another hit. Last cast. Last cast. <laughs> it never really is. It never. No. <laughs> you saw that though, right? You saw that though? Yeah? Huh? Huh? Dude, I mean, I know I could sit here and catch more, but I'd say let's let's move on. Man, that's fun. Like even missing them's fun. You know, like it doesn't even matter. That's the the beauty of top water is like. I almost, I'd almost like rather miss a blow up than catch a fish like blind casting underwater. You know, it's just the like look. My, I got, I literally have like goose pimples. <laughs> All right, last guy. I mean, a fish that blow up's worth one more, right? Come on, that's just simple math. What? What do you want from me? It was gone. It was gone. I felt the weight, man. God. Oh my god, in my temper tantrum, now I got a mess. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my, this, wow, now this reel might be done. I got like all kinds of wind knots from that speed of sound hook set. One. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Less than ideal. Probably a rock bass. A rock bass. <laughs> Might have been, man. I was about to say, come on, let's blow. It's worth one more. And now I don't even, I can't even. Wow, this might, this like isn't even worth. How, how does this riddle me this? Like what is happening here? All right, guys, so we made it to this dam. We're gonna have to portage around. We'll see how this goes. And then below there, it's gonna be swift again, huh? Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, where, the, where the dam house is, is where all the water's rushing out. And uh, pretty good fishing there. Danger, thin ice. You don't see too many of those signs in Texas. Safe portage area. Sounds good to me. I think this is about to get a little physical. Well, we made it, we survived. We're down below the dam now, so this next stretch is going to be swifter. We're hoping for smallies, so there's good pike in here. Let's see what we get into. It's already been a killer day, like everything from here is bonus, so it doesn't even matter. Great day to be out here, great day to be alive. It's beautiful. It's crystal clear here below the dam. You ready to do it? Ready to do it. I'm at her, man. I'm calling you out. Peter Potter, let's get at her. So much bait in this grass. Yep. Oh, catch up, catch up. Fish on. Man, another largemouth. You promised me smallies down here. All right, guys. Well, below the dam, chatterbait. Back to the chatterbait. Just trying to kind of figure out what these fish are holding to. This guy was up in the grass. 
ding him in the angler app. I'm not really looking for law. I'd much rather catch smallmouth. But hey, bite's a bite, right? Fish is a fish. See you, buddy. Good thing about the chatterbait, we can cover a lot of water and hopefully dial in a pattern with this kind of new stretch we're in now. Finish out the day strong, hopefully. Bunch of grass in here. Just watched her hit it, followed it, and I paused the chatterbait right next to the boat, dude. And I just watched her like slurp as it started to fall. Another largemouth. You you lying to me, bro? Wait, yeah, another largemouth. Luis over here said, I never catch largemouth in here. Well, there's two. I haven't even stopped recording since the last one. Another guy. So chatterbait. Color me sold. Color me convinced. All right. Well, hey, this is a hot and heavy right off the bat. I just got two largemouth back to back. Luis just followed it up five seconds later with a nice smallie, man. Well, I guess the bite hasn't died. Yep, yep, yep. Another largemouth, bro. You liar. Kidding me? I never catch largemouth in here. Get out of here. Gotta be lying. That's three fish and six casts, all largemouth. And you pull out the smallie. Jerk. Yeah, true. Man, the largemouth are hunting up in this eelgrass and they're liking the chatterbait. Are you kidding me? Luis with another fish and it's a damn smallmouth. What am I, am I just not holding my mouth right? You're probably right. Nice, man. Wow, we're getting on them in here. Yep. Hey, Smalley. <laughs> All right, so Luis wasn't. No, it's a largemouth. Dude. Are you kidding me? I never catch largemouth. Liar. And they're getting smaller, too. But God, he hit it hard. Whacked it. I thought that was going to be something bigger. Leave it to the Texas boy to rip out largemouth after largemouth in the stretch with no largemouth. Figures. <laughs> that was fun. It was. That was really fun. That's going to do it for today, guys. Running out of light. We got to get back. I got a lawn drive, but just what a killer day, man. Yeah, it was great. So fun. She got her personal best largemouth. I got a huge crappie, a nice largemouth, nice smallmouth. We caught a ton of fish. Between us, we caught them on the frogs, worms, craws, top water, I mean, everything. Chatterbait was on fire, swim bait. What a cool river system. The Thorn Apple River, guys. Check it out. Follow both these cool cats on Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description to that. If you're in the area, what's the name of the tournament trail you guys fish? Topwater. Topwater? Topwater and um, MKT, Michigan Kayak Trail. I'll put a link down there if you're in the area, fish these tournaments. That was the original plan for my time up here, but COVID had other plans. But what a just great audible and plan B. Yeah. So it was yeah, a blast. Worked out great. Blast. I love fishing rivers. It's really where kayaks shine. And this one was just a gem. Like I would, I would 1000% come back and do that exact same float again. That was a blast. <laughs> That was so much fun. So much fun, even with the rain. Even with the rain. Oh yeah, I forgot. That feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> we were getting just torrential downpour on, but who cares? The fish were chewing all day. Like it didn't really slack. It was pretty steady action all day. Yeah. Such a blast. I'm loving Michigan. We're not done here in Michigan. I'm heading up to the, the UP. Yeah, the UP. Hang out the Upers, there as they go. call them. <laughs> Upper Peninsula. I know nothing about it. We go check that out next, but. Michigan's just been a blast so far. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Good time, man. Show me a good time. Now we're going to go get wasted. <laughs> <laughs>